Peace, y'all. Welcome back to my page. It's me, Shout to Maria. And this video is well overdue, so we're going to get right to the nitty-gritty. Um, I got a lot of comments um, about people thinking I'm just, like, obsessed with Nature Boy, uh, Elegio. Why do I post his content so much? Just that and the third. You know what I mean? And when I tell you this shit hits closer to home than y'all think and y'all realize that I just haven't spoke about. But I'm about to. Come on now. Because I, I, okay, I've been on YouTube for a minute. I, I know a lot of y'all is new. But thank you for following me. And we going to take it back to my wine videos. Because <laughs> you going to need wine. What's some of this shit or some drinks? It's something, it's something in this cup, uh, adult, adult beverages. Okay. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this right here is why I post this shit. First of all, when I first even heard a Nature Boy, someone very close to me, like this. Very close to me. Was watching him all day, every day. No, I ain't gonna say every day because pff, people got jobs, people got shit to do. But she was watching him quite a bit. And but I'm used to that. You know, I'm used to her watching like a yada, a polite, um, nature boy, Miss Bright Sweat, you know, just the influential people in the black community. And you know, so when she was watching this guy, I'm like, oh, but who is he? She's like, oh, he lives in nature. And he's this, he, he's that, he's this. I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't think two shits about it. I mean, she's grown as fuck. Uh, okay. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck ever. But the way the world works, it's never that simple, right? It's never that simple, you guys. It's never, ever that simple. So <laughs> she keeps watching him. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't give a fuck because we're 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 close, but at the same time we're so different. So a lot of the shit that she watches, I don't watch, and vice versa. You know, we have a couple common factors here and there, which is how I think I <laughs> started watching Nature Boy because she was watching Nature Boy, and uh, you know how the internet works. That shit is popping up on my timeline at this point, so I'm clicking on videos. I saw it on Facebook, clicking on videos, listening, okay, you know, because he posts, he'll post on his page where he wants you to hear the good things, excuse me, he doesn't post that he's crazy as fuck on his page, you know, so he hear the good things, especially on his, um, at this time, he was really big on YouTube, it wasn't like the IG Live, I don't even think, at that time, how long IG Live been out? Like a year? I don't know. I feel, it ain't been out that long. You know what I mean? So, I mean, even he would tell you he was very active on Facebook at this time. So, I'm like watching him go to the grocery stores. A matter of fact, this was before he got deported out of Costa Rica. Right? Before he got deported out of Costa Rica. So, I'm like, okay, he seemed cool. And again, this is, this is, this is how it happens. So, the people that's over there, as much as I be like, fuck the people that's over there. Y'all see all this shit out there? No the fuck they don't, y'all. No the fuck they don't. Because, initially, I ain't see the fuckery either. I didn't see the fuckery. I promise, I promise y'all didn't see the fuckery. And no, I never tried to go over there. I never had a conversation with this man. But this shit is home. Stay focused, okay? I know I, I tell stories within stories, and y'all be like, come on, should I take it to the point? But y'all gotta pay attention to the details at the same motherfucking time. So anyways, back to Facebook. <laughs> so I'm seeing it, I'm like, oh, he seemed cool. He don't, he don't seem too bad or whatever. Okay, that's that's my initial thought. So I go on the page, I watch videos, and he's just talking about, you know, eat right, eat from earth ground, get connected to nature, da, da, da. I'm all for that. I'm not against that. I'm not. That's not where he got me fucked up at. I'm all for it. Probably a lot of y'all that even came across him in the first motherfucking place was like, all right, I see what you're saying because we, especially as black people, <laughs> we be so against that shit, but you know, it is good to be in tune with the earth. It is. You know, so I'm watching it. Okay. But I'm like, okay, I'm watching the videos. I see a girl in the video, and it, it wasn't clicking. I'm like, oh, she looks so familiar. 
Oh, she's so pretty. She looks so familiar. And I wasn't putting two and two together. Mind you, this is on Facebook. So one day after I got done watching his video, scrolling on Facebook, just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on Facebook, right? And I see the girl from the motherfucking video. I said, hold the fuck up. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> so then I called a girl that got me to watch and then she born in first place. It's watching his videos all the time. I'm like, home girl, do you know the girl, the, one of his wives? She said, no, it's just that, you know, he has multiple wives. I watched him in the video. I really liked Yaya, but Yaya left him and, and this. And I'm like, what? So how long has he been in nature? What is he doing? So he has, he, he switched wives like he switches dirty damn draws. What's going on? She's like, why do you ask? Because I know one of the damn wives is why I asked. <laughs> so, I posted a video before. I know Crystal. Me and Crystal, we're both from Detroit. Okay, shout out to the D. Y'all know, you know, you know, I represent my city. <laughs> Anyways, we're both from Detroit. It's not actually, I don't know her from Detroit. Never seen her day in my life in the city. But we went to the same college. We went to the best HBCU in all of the land. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm biased but we, we went to my favorite HBCU ever and that's why I met her you know because she was dating um, a guy and he was in a fraternity and I was dating the same not the same guy shit <laughs> I was dating a guy in the same fraternity so naturally we just kind of was in the same circle you know what I mean so that's how I initially met Crystal and she was she's very nice very sweet I don't have a bad thing to say about her at all but when I saw her with a fucking nature boy <laughs> and initially I was like he seemed okay but I was like it's something off about nature boy and it just was shocking to me that someone that I personally knew was in Costa Rica with this man. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Still didn't pay no attention. I'm like, she grown as hell. She gonna do what she do. Travel. I don't give a fuck. You know, like, we weren't besties. You know, it's just that we we, we knew each other. Like, even when I had a child, um, like, before she went off the grid, she was like, oh, yeah, I remember, like, you, you left because you had a baby because most people know it, that college is not the biggest college. So, I got pregnant in college, you know, so she's like, yeah, I remember you left to, um, have your baby, um, whatever. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We had a lot of mutual friends, so the people watching this video, that's from our school, they already know, whatever. Um, I think that's kind of public knowledge at this point. If you know me, you knew I knew Crystal. But, <laughs> I didn't recognize her at first because it was like I was vaguely watching the videos. And then I went to college in 08. So, when I was watching this, was it, y'all, uh, if I'm mistaken, 2016, 2017, when he was in Costa Rica? Um, And then they got deported. And I'm watching it when they got deported. I was like, oh my god. Uh, like, what is going on? Like, when he got deported, I was just like... here <laughs> you know what I mean so anyways in the end old girl got kicked out and I kind of thought that was crazy because y'all know at the time she had just enough that she was she was pregnant so you know now she's off the grid or whatever um hope she's doing okay this is not even why I start posting these videos so let's let's move forward fast forward to last summer summer 2018 last summer <laughs> so this person that's extremely close to me that first was watching nature boy videos that kind of introduced me to who the fucking nature boy was um like you know paying attention to her pull up on her early morning or whatever and she's like <laughs> watching nature boy so i'm like oh you're watching nature boy videos or whatever she's like no i'm talking to nature boy Bitch, what? Like, what? You talking to a motherfucker who? <laughs> like, she's like, oh, yeah, I actually did. I, I inboxed him. She inboxed him on accident. She was trying to inbox somebody else on Facebook, type in the name. It was kind of similar to his name. Ended up inboxing him. So he replied back, and she was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Clearly, I missed somebody else. And um, 
she said, was it a accident, coincidence or something? And he replied, and I'm just going by what she told me. He replied back like there's no coincidences or some 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 bullshit or whatever. So they start talking on a regular. When I mean regular, I mean every motherfucking morning. On I want to say, she gave me permission to tell the story, y'all. Okay, I'm not gonna say her name. On WhatsApp or House Party or one of them apps where you can video chat. It must be like a uh, House Party. I don't know. I'm not big on all these apps. One of them apps we can like talk to multiple people like video chat multiple people and they were video chatting multiple people every day um so <laughs> i'm like okay this is weird so i'm thinking she's just watching the video she's like no i'm talking to him and she was like she started doing all this shit like peace reflection and shit i'm thinking she because we, we me me and her are extremely goofy and funny and and like we joke about so much shit you know like even sometimes serious shit we'll find humor in it you know what i mean that's just how we are so i'm like okay yeah go go and let's go to legio at this point you know like and she i didn't know that she was seriously thinking about joining this motherfucker like and so I'm just, you know, me and my natural goofy self every morning. I'm like, are you talking to him? And she'll like pause him or whatever, like, yeah. And she will become she was becoming so excited about it. And I'm like, okay, I still didn't think nothing of it because we watch like a lot of black um people in the community. Like, I love Miss Rice Play. You know, she reminds me of me a little bit. You know what I mean? We got two baby daddies, two kids, and we just trying to figure out life. I love Miss Rice Play. Like, I can relate to her being a single mom of two. She's a single mom of two girls. I'm a single mom of two boys. And life can be hectic. So I can really relate to her a lot about, like, just maintaining yourself, not losing yourself, trying to take care of these kids but still having a life as a mom being sexy as a mom and like like breaking down those stereotypes you know so i, I really love miss rice Bay. like i really love her um so i wasn't crazy to see oh shit <laughs> to see her be excited about people in the community like it, it just wasn't and, um and at the time i wasn't seeing a bunch of like crazy nature boy shit and I guess neither was she. And then eventually, um, I saw the... And I, I have this on my page to this day. When he was like, yeah, I let my son play with my penis video. And I'm like, what? <clears throat> what do you say? I have two boys. What do you mean? You know? So then, you know, I posted on my, on my YouTube because I was still a YouTuber at that time. Like, just starting off. And so I posted it on my page. I'm like... Did you know this? Did you, <laughs> you know, talking to homegirl, like, what's good? Like, what the fuck is up with that, you know? And she was like, yeah, I saw that. And I think this is when she was kind of like, hmm, maybe everything is not what it seems. You know what I mean? And it wasn't until I started posting. After that, I was like, this dude is weird. So I started really researching who this person that is extremely close to me was so infatuated with. And that's when I started seeing a fuckery. And that's when I started posting the motherfucking fuckery. <laughs> like, just like, nah, I ain't even got to comment on this shit. I ain't got to do a commentary about this shit. If you are an intelligent being and you just listen to the dumb shit that he spews out of his mouth, come on now. Come on, now. and then it got to the point where <laughs> after I started posting these videos, homegirl came to me and was like, Oh, yeah, no, I was really serious about joining at this time. Okay, before when I was watching him with Crystal, was there was melanation at this point, it's carbonation when they got kicked out of Costa Rica. He changed his name because he was father to Hootie. Was he father to Hootie and uh, uh, Costa Rica. This nigga changed his name like you changed his dirty ass drawers. Matter of fact, he don't even wear dirty drawers. I don't know. The nigga changed his name quite a bit. <laughs> and she's like, that's so like I was saying. My bad. She like didn't see the fuckery for a long time. Um, so I started posting it, and she she came to me. And she was like, no, I was really thinking about joining. 
like she was in the recruitment process y'all and there is a whole recruitment process so basically she would video chat them um multiple people it was like i think on house party what's that whatever one of them apps where you can talk to multiple people at at one time and, um i would walk in and i'm like oh you listening to nature boy and she's like no i am talking to nature boy and i'm like oh the fuck you know still not thinking nothing of it because it's the internet you can reach them or anybody you can talk to a celebrity online if you want to you know what i mean so i'm not thinking nothing of it and still and she's like um she was meeting up with someone that was local like it, it got to the point where okay he had them of course you know he's big into astrology so he's like what's your chart you, you this you that so they was doing that every morning i'm um, figuring out each other's charts and then on top of that it was a guy from our city of course i'm not gonna name his name at all she went over there he wanted to know the guy from oh he <laughs> someone she was on video chat there went there over the summer all I'm gonna say he went there he left that's but um this guy was on video chat with them too and it was the guy from Detroit I'm sorry my baby okay it was the guy from Detroit and she actually met up with this guy nature bird was trying to assign people even though I think it's people got there he you know he wanted a piece of everybody he was assigning her a, a direct at this time yeah direct that's what he call it a direct he was assigning her direct before she even got there her direct was um i think her direct was supposed to be the one from new york actually but she never went like homegirl never went oh yeah <laughs> camera key cut off anyways this guy from d straight so of course like he said just like he always said he wants you to practice um everything before you got down there so she's naturally a vegetarian she's not vegan so i remember her like oh she want to be vegan i'm just thinking okay you're a vegetarian i guess this is messed up like the fuck i don't care i i i like dairy i'm sorry <laughs> like, you know what i mean you know i think it'll be easy for me i'm not actually a vegetarian but i think it's a lot easier for me to give up meat because i go days without eating meat now but i love my cheese <laughs> so Anyway, she was like, you know, starting to become vegan. She was telling me about the B6 diet. And it got to the point where I was like, oh, I need to eat more of it, like potatoes. And like, you know, because the person close to you kind of rubs off on you. But I was like, yeah, fuck that shit. No, I don't eat whatever the fuck I want to eat. <laughs> the fuck? Anyways, yeah, it, it was just all these signs that I really was ignoring. Not thinking two shits about it. So, <laughs> it got to the point... Hold on, y'all. It got to the point, um... Okay. Um... She was really considering in front of my face. And I didn't even know. Like, I had no clue. I had no fucking clue. Uh, but, like, yeah, after... Yeah, so after it was on, like, literally every morning on House Party WhatsApp or whatever the apps is, I don't fucking know. One of them asked me, he multiple people. He was, like, giving her a husband before her ass even got down there. Um, having her study astrology. What I'm not mad about, I mean, do that shit. I know my... my honestly, my chart is so similar to his is crazy <laughs> like and i am not a motherfucking i i'm not a nature boy but our charts are so fucking similar and i think that's why i wanted to like him i want i'm like because i have a very dominant trait you know like i have a lot of masculine energy which probably would last out here like taurus leo <laughs> Leo Moon, you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm so similar to his chart. It's crazy. But um at the same time, it's like I see this big ass box here that I need to move. Whatever. At the same time, I didn't wanna It's so much shit that I just can't agree with. You know what I mean? And <laughs> this is why the people that's there, I, like I I be thinking they idiots, but you don't see the bad side because even 
before old girl was like really watching him i mean i think had i not known someone personally that was there i want to see seeing the bad shit and i was like so he was really considering going down there mommy this is before she was watching my videos and i was pointing out the crazy shit that he was doing you remember like a, a girl um a few months ago maybe no maybe a month ago was about to go down there but then the whole thing with eliana start acting up and she was like it's too much negativity i don't want to go there you know what i mean like and these exposing videos is helping because he's fucking up people's lives and these are people that i actually know <laughs> like he's fucking up people's lives this shit is not for play play this shit is for real this is not this as much as people like he's doing it for views and he could be doing it for views um he could be doing it for fame but he's actually fucking up people lives you see people family members go there and they're like i mean you know like i want my i want he won't let me talk to my my sister my, my brother or whoever this shit is real life that's not for play that's not this ain't that's not that's real that's real you know what i mean so knowing that this person that's so close to me was this close had I not been posting <laughs> this close had I not been posting these videos was going to take her black ass down there? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> so all these people that is posting that shit keep doing what you're doing. Because it's, it's people just like oh girl that's supposed to go down there and she didn't because she was like it's full of fuckery and she decided not to go. That was that was my homegirl. <laughs> that, that, that was homegirl. Um, she was she was like, no, I was really about to go. Like, she dead ass was looking at me and was like, no. I was about to go. I was on my way down there to Mexico. So I was talking to him. She went and chilled with this guy. Um, that's from Detroit. I don't actually don't. I don't know his name. I know I saw a picture. I saw them... Um, on whatever app that was or was like he's, he's actually kind of cute and the other guy that was down there was actually kind of cute too which is crazy mm -hmm. he gone now well you put two and two together you really listening <laughs> you already know who i'm talking about for real because he came in the summer he left <laughs> um but yeah she yeah she's supposed to be going down there and that little you know when he was going down there at the time but he ain't last. He saw the fuckery. Um, she saw the fuckery. But she didn't see it until I started posting it because she was like, he does things that he wants you to see. This person I'm talking about in my life, I said, you didn't see the live videos of the fuckery. You didn't go on YouTube. You didn't even go. If you Google this man. If you, I'm sorry, I was getting a text message. If you didn't Google this man, you would have never fucking knew. You know what I mean? So, I'm basically, um, me posting videos kind of woke her up. Because she was like, she never, she really, she really didn't catch the lives. Um, because she worked a lot. You know, it's different for me. I work from home. I've always worked from home. You know, I kind of create my, my own little life. <laughs> so, I have my work from home videos. I work from home. So, I have a very, very flexible schedule. Um, being at home. You ain't got nobody washing over your shoulder like a normal. <laughs> it's still costing the work. But you ain't got nobody washing over your shoulder like, don't be in your phone. Get off of YouTube. So, like, when it's still at work, I can catch the bullshit. You know what I mean? Luckily, luckily, I did. Um, boy, don't get him up. I'm talking about son. Don't get him up, see. I see you. Um, yeah, this boy been eating since he got home from school. He been home from school for two hours. He been eating every 30 minutes. Anyways, um, uh, and she didn't see it. She was like, she didn't really catch the crazy shit on YouTube. She went straight to his YouTube, Carbonation TV, which is positive. She was going straight to his Facebook, which is positive. 
So he paints narratives that people really don't see. Just like the girl that was planning on going down there. And I want to say it was on the IG page, Don't Turn Me Petty, um, where people were sending her videos like, why the fuck would you go down there? And that's what made old girl change her mind. Like, no, I was going down there for like some tranquility and to get back to nature. I'm not going down there to be fucking arguing in the middle of bullshit, basically. And these people really don't see that, y'all. They don't. A period point blank, they don't. So, like, I try not to bash them. Sometimes I'll be like, I don't feel sorry for these niggas. But at the same time, I could have been right there advocating. Not even advocating because I already told old oh, girl. I was like, I would have been down there. <laughs> I'm trying to not. Okay, I would have been down there. Other, a lot of people that we know, would it, a, a ticket ain't nothing. A flight ain't nothing. A flight ain't nothing. That's why I feel like Eliana's ass to just go down there because just like it took, it took this person, it took someone close to my homegirl to be like, the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, for her to like be like, okay, snap out of it. Anyways, so. And that's all I do. What the fuck I do? <laughs> Low story. Long story long. Long story long. That's just how I feel. So I feel like Eliana's dad needs to just go out there. Sometimes it's, that's like what it takes though. Like that's honestly what it takes. Is someone to just come and close to you. That love you. That care about you. Be like you tripping. You know what I mean. Luckily I caught old girl. Before. It went that far. And she saw it. I mean she's still a person that want to live in nature. That's fine. You ain't got to do with a motherfucking nature boy. I promise you that. <laughs> and she see that now. So sometimes it's like the people closest to you. Just like when Eliana saw her brother. Y'all remember that line? When she saw her brother. Yeah, that's the person. That's the person that's going to snap her out of it. I promise you. If he could go down there, I don't even think it's her dad. I think it's the... Black on black, 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 black. I have no idea. I mean, I, mean, I have black. Not that, though. Mine's on my bed. <laughs> so... Well, that one's on my bed. <laughs> I think that's the person that's gonna snap her out of it. I don't even I really don't think it's her dad. I don't and I don't know um their plans. I know if you watch Jazzy G, um, they are like they have plans. She's she's cool with the family or whatever. I don't know the plans, but I think the brother needs to go. Because I think um that's probably who Eliana is closest with from what it seems like. That's who was like had her like stuck you know what i mean so but yeah this shit is real this shit is real so yeah it started with me with someone i knew from college and then it hit closer to home than someone i knew in college and it's like these videos exposing him to stop that ass <laughs> from going down there so it's much of yo you assess you assess let that shit, ha shit hit home. Let that be your cousin, your best friend, your little sister. You gonna want someone posting the fuckery to stop them. Period. Point blank. So, you don't like my page? Stay the fuck off my page. I post other shit too. Watch the other shit that I post besides this. Because I post a lot of shit. <coughs> I post a lot of stuff on my page. Um, but, of course, the drama gets most of y'all attention anyways. But this is why I post it. It ain't just because of nature boy. It should hit home. So anyways, thanks for watching my page. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.